What's going on everybody? Miniature painters love washes. What I got here are two old Citadel color red wash and an unopened purple wash. Haven't even broke the seam yet on this bad boy. But this is not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about these old vintage washes. I'm not talking about the classics. Agrax Earthshade, Nuln Oil, you know, the primo washes. I'm talking about ones you may not own and you haven't tried yet. And what I want you to do, if you have a little bit of extra hobby funds, maybe pick up one of these and try it out. And during this time in the world, you know, spending an extra four bucks at a hobby store might be a big help to them because if you're anything like Arizona, pretty much all open gaming spaces have been temporarily shut down. So we're gonna get into it with the most hilarious one right off the bat. Baby Poop from Secret Weapon. That's right, it is literally called Baby Poop. <laughs> this is exactly Baby Poop. This is a greenish brown, think of like a green umber with kind of a yellow undertone. So it's funky. It's really cool for adding to like natural bases. If you want to try to make like swamp land or forest floor, if you want to put it over like wood textures, it makes a good wash for a wood. And then of course you can use it on like a Nurgle demon or something. So check out Secret Weapon Baby Poop in the number, I don't know, five spot. Number four, it's gonna, it's a top five list now. Number four, this one is super awesome. Formula P3 Blazing Ink. See that there? Blazing Ink by P3. This is a bright orange yellow wash, or ink as it says. And it is got a hint of kind of that yellow tone. So if you're familiar with the GW one, which is called Fugan orange. It has kind of like an orange to dark orange sienna kind of tone, darkening your orange. This is more of a bright orange yellow kind of ink. And it's super cool. If you've seen any of my Instagram photos for orange power weapons, I just put one up of a Raven Guard captain I painted. And uh, Instagram is Sleepwalk Air. You can see. What I do is I paint the uh, power weapon in kind of a purple, orange, yellow to white kind of scale, if that makes sense. And then you just glaze over a little bit of this and it kind of tints everything back to the orange scale and you get an orange power weapon. Super cool. I think you'll find a lot of uses for this. You could put it over a bright silver for like lens effects, uh, colored, you know, magical power effects, Super, super cool. This next one you may have tried, but you might have skipped it. You're familiar with dark tone. You're familiar with flesh tone. You're familiar with strong tone. Check out Army Painter Red Tone. This one is pretty unique. It kind of reminds me, although not on the list, kind of reminds me a little bit of Secret Weapon Drying Blood, which is a cool wash as well. Uh, this is kind of your deep, purple red wash it is caribou crimson is more vibrant and drooky violet is more purple this is somewhere in between it's like a muted red wash this one is awesome for mixing with some of your more brown wash colors so say you had a flesh wash and you just wanted that little hint of maybe like that blood flow in the cheeks or something you can mix a little bit of this in there. This one is really good to thin out and put little red tints on like an elbow. See how it's like a little red there? This one is really great. I think you'll find a lot of unique uses for it. You're probably not gonna wash entire models with it, but it has a lot of cool little uses. So play around with this one, Red Tone by Army Painter. The next one is my absolute secret weapon go-to wash. And that is Vallejo Model Wash Dark Yellow. This one is super confusing when you look at the bottle. It is so dark. And let me just show you real quick. I'm going to put a little bit 
on a napkin here. It's like this yellow green color, but this makes an amazing wash for like a bright green. So if you've seen my Necro Monday gangs, uh, sometimes when I enter models and competitions, I will do bright green models. I feel like I have some, I don't know. They always seem like they look cool to me. I don't know. My T-Rex, my Hulk, my Cyclops. I'm working on uh, a Rumble Slam team right now. And you can't really see, obviously, my setup. But uh, the dark yellow Vallejo model wash, if you like working in any kind of bright green, you don't want to use the camo wash. And I just don't think Bale Tan uh, affects kind of the brighter greens that good because it makes the bright... So if you use Bale Tan from GW, which is a cool wash, over a bright green, it makes the shadows more of a pure green, like a Crayola green. You think the color green, forest green. This is like a muted green which then makes the bright yellows pop when you highlight. So you get that kind of desaturated shadow tone of the bright green. Um, I really, really like taking this one and mixing it with like some water, some black wash, and like get a big tub of this Vallejo game wash, mix it in a you know, bunch of browns, whatever, bunch of water, Vallejo flow improver, and you can make these kind of dark neutral yellow green brown pots and they're super fun to play with i highly highly recommend this if you are planning on painting any kind of green monsters it says dark yellow uh, it's going to greatly affect your yellows so if you were using like this would be good for like natural yellows like maybe some yellow plant life moss stuff like that uh, but be prepared if you want it to be yellow uh, you're going to have to do a lot of highlighting afterwards. So check out Dark Yellow Model Wash. And the absolute secret, secret weapon. I can't believe GW has not promoted these. Games Workshop, when they came out with Contrast Paint, snuck in a secret weapon so good that I'm surprised they're not just promoting the heck out of it. And I've been promoting the heck out of it at the local game store and I think I've sold five bottles of it just sitting there painting with it. And that is the new Citadel Air Death Shroud Clear. This line of paint, I think this is what replaced the glazes. Lamenter's Yellow, Gilliman Blue, Blood Letter Glaze. Uh, and I also have the purple. I have not used the purple yet. Uh, this is so good. It's in the big pot like a contrast paint. It's the air line. I have not even shot it through an airbrush. This is the perfect paint to get that panel line effect on a model. Now you may be familiar with this guy here, the panel liner, accent color from Tamiya. Awesome, awesome, you, it's got a little applicator, you dip it on, it works really, really well. And it's not water-based and it has a little bit of a scent. This one is like the same thing. You could coat, basically everybody's buying it at the local game store because of that Star Wars Legion game. They see me using it, and they realized you could paint a Stormtrooper white or prime it white or maybe a gray to white dry brush highlight. You could cover the whole model in this, and this does not barely stain that white, yet will panel line and dark, darken in all the recesses. It's so cool. It's like a super gloss uh, Nuln Oil, I guess. But it's not gloss Nuln Oil. It's something different. I don't know. The gloss Nuln Oil is also good, but if you're also familiar with something like Nuln Oil, when you apply it over a whole surface, it creates like a dark filter over it and darkens the recesses. This just darkens the recesses and almost doesn't even affect the flat surfaces. It's so cool. I highly, highly recommend it. You can also mix this with some of the other washes to get some of that uh, less surface tension effect. It's so great. I if you're going to get one, go get Death Shroud Clear from Games Workshop Citadel Airline. They're usually at the bottom of the big rack. GW never talks about them like they don't exist. I don't know why. They came out right at the same time as Contrast Paint. And one slight caveat with this, 
if you do not varnish your models with like a satin coat or a dull coat or my favorite, the AK Interactive Ultra Flat or Ultra Matte Coat, uh, you're not going to like this at all because this is going to have a heavy gloss effect and a lot of your paints don't have that effect. So once you apply this, you know, you can continue painting. It might look, you know, that gloss effect is going to affect how you like your model or not. But once you hit that model with your varnish coat and bring all the finishes in line with each other, I mean, it's just amazing. So if you're going to use Destrog Clear, which I highly, highly recommend, I then also recommend you be uh, satin or matte coating your models when they're finished. So hopefully you enjoyed that. These are five washes and a few extra tips. Bonus tip right now, just because I'm also probably going to do a video just on this alone, and I've done it before, but Vallejo Airbrush Flow Improver. They sell thinner. They sell airbrush cleaner. Get the Flow Improver. This Flow Improver you can add to any one of these washes and any wash you own, any ink you own, and turn it into more of a wash consistency. It's so good. You can add a ton of it and start playing with just thin layers of washes to gently shift colors and highlight or shadow areas. It's just, it's not just for the airbrush is what I'm trying to say. Use that in your paint, mix it with any one of your paints. And a lot of that, there's no recipe, a squirt of that, a drop of that, and you can start making your own washes. And I highly, highly recommend playing with creating your own washes or adjusting your own washes especially if you're painting one-off miniatures, bus, large monsters, uh, competition miniatures, board games, because you get to play with mixing color and see how it interacts. You get to make washes, you know, putting that subtle purple into the shadow or that dark blue into the green shadow or whatever is really, really fun. It'll help you learn color theory. I do not recommend making your own washes if you're army painting. Right, You don't want to have to remake washes over and over again for a giant Space Marine Legion unless you're making it in a big tub and sealing it somehow so you can use it for the whole army. But that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Check out these washes. Now's a great time to go spend a couple bucks at the local hobby store if you got a couple extra bucks sitting around.